When we practice the Buddha's teachings, we're taking a responsibility for our own happiness. And we realize that a lot of the obstacles to our happiness are coming from within. But the potentials for overcoming those obstacles are from within as well. We would have said there's a necessary outside component of the practice, which is admirable friendship. In other words, someone who points out the path to us, alerts us to the fact that it is possible to put an end to suffering. And then internally, the most important factor is appropriate attention, learning the right questions. It's a good exercise to go through the day and ask yourself, well, what kind of questions am I asking myself as I go through the day? And you find that there's a constant stream, what to do next, what to do next, what's this, what's this? And then a mind tries to find a framework to put it all into. Appropriate attention supplies the right, the right framework. Looking for where there's stress, and then looking for what are you doing that's causing the stress. And what can you do to put an end to that stress and put an end to the cause? Those questions should be right there all the time, because otherwise we get waylaid by other questions. Why did that person do this? Why did this person do that? What do they mean? What are their intentions? It goes on and on and on. We can create a, a lot of suffering for ourselves. And in fact, we're placing the responsibility for our happiness in other people's hands. So we've got to learn how to put it in our own hands, which means developing a mature attitude. That yes, you do yet admit your mistakes. But that's how you learn. So you see mistakes not as totally negative. You see your ability to recognize them as something positive, because that allows you to do something about them. And then your willingness to do something about them, that makes you even more mature. So the Buddha is basically asking us to be adults. Take responsibility, be mature. And the good news is that by developing these good qualities in mind, they do lead to a true happiness. It's not beyond our reach, 